Okay, Lucy, so just renewing your Juicy Vlog contract for another 12 months. Great. Right. Are you happy to proceed? I think I'm 51, you're 49 in this business, so... No, we have um, actually <laughs> amended the terms <laughs> for this year. And, oh, did, did you do this? Wait, up. It's, it says I'm no longer on the channel. <laughs> it's just you. All right, in that case, see you later. Happy New Year! Are we not doing? We're literally gonna wait. Paper I thought we were gonna do like a joint We've Happy New Year. That. We never planned that. We never planned that out. Oh, I'm sitting on the edge of this bed. Okay. <laughs> and great framing. Guys, welcome <clears throat> to 20. I don't want that cable in that's hanging down and it's now in. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Oh well. Then. Welcome to 2023. Welcome to our first video of 2023. We wanted to kind of kickstart the year with a, a catch good up. old Q and A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Q &A. Because everyone wants a it's Q and a. a. However, we try and butter it up. It's a Q and A. Basically, we've got no time on our hands right now. We don't want to not upload this. Is Kodo awake? I think I've got this thing that I hear him when he's not there. Like, what's it called? A, a phantom cry. Yeah. We're so busy with this house that. We haven't got time. Can you sit up a bit more? Because you're like crouching on the edge of the bed, you look I'm like, like a mini-man. I'm like squidging off the mattress. Just sit here then. But then I'm like right behind you. <laughs> I'll come back as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we've got no time because of this house. But we don't want to neglect this channel. But we don't have time to go out and film vlogs right now because it's just chaotic. It's and hard. honestly, it's mental. So We'll be back with normal like daily vlog yeah. style videos very soon. But so we did want to come back for the first time <laughs> since our vlogmas. <laughs> The house is going good. We've had a lot of comments and messages asking about the house. It's going super well. We'll give like a house update video, I think, soon. No, only if it's in the Q&A question. Oh, okay. Well, let's get straight into it then. Only if someone said to me you, out. George, tell me how the house is going. <laughs> so we put um, a little thing out on our YouTube community tab, which we don't use that often, to be honest, but we thought it was going to be the best place to ask you guys if you want to feature in the vlog, ask us some questions. We'll have a big start of the year catch up and then go on with the year. Happy New Year, by the way. I've said it again, but super excited, super pumped. We've got a lot of big It's going to be a big year, year for us, hopefully, yeah. Lots going on. And we hope um, you guys are doing whatever makes you happy. I'm worried that you're doing that thing where you, it's like really like a three minute video and we've not even got into it yet. So let's just crack on with We're some questions. We're getting straight into it. First question is about our friends Kim and Tom, Keto, who are back in the Philippines. It says they seem to have moved into the same condo building as yours. No, they have not they're actually. uptown, we're McKinley, so it's actually quite a different area. Yes, um, um, but they said any plans on doing a collab with them in the near future? It's not a collab with them, we'll hang out, we'll basically yeah. live together when we go back to Manila, so... Yeah, we're definitely going to see them and yeah. hang out a ton when <laughs> we're back It's way more than a collab, it's more like... It's, t it's, deep, it's too it's, deep at this stage. We just live together when we see each other, that's <laughs> how it goes. <laughs> um, Coda's birthday coming up, yes, Coda is one in January. Do you guys have any plans for his birthday party? So obviously we're still renovating this house. So we're living here at the moment. We can't host a party in this room, but we are going to do like a thing at the house provided we get it painted in time. There'll be no furniture. So we're going to get like camping chairs and do like yeah. a little buffet and some cake yeah. with our family. It's going to be low key, yeah. but, but it's, it's, it's going to be his, nice. It's his first birthday. I think when he's two, he'll understand what a birthday is more and we can actually do like a party with friends and yeah. like make it more of a thing. But this I feel one doesn't like... even matter. <laughs> Um, of course it matters, but it would just be nice for family to sort of like hang out with him and he can open some presents and have some cake. Yes, yeah, so like it's just, we have some plans, but nothing crazy. So I've done some on my Instagram as well, so we're gonna switch between the two. Quite a few people are asking when baby number two is coming. <laughs> and? Not yet. Welcome to our announcement video. No, we will have a baby number two at some point in the future, um, but the time isn't right for us right now. Being pregnant stops you doing a lot of things and it slows travel plans down. I can't be renovating and sanding and having paint fumes when I'm pregnant. So we need to like get our lives sorted first. Yeah, we're just getting to a stage with Coda as well yeah. where we kind of know what we're doing mm. and we can kind of get a little bit of the things in life that we love back. So travel, yeah. um, you know, trips, stuff like, well, that's it really. I mean, newborns like don't, yeah, that's it. Newborns don't obviously do that much, they just kind of sleep. And um, so it wouldn't be that the actual newborn being there is an issue, but I think it's being pregnant. It's and the then, time around And like, I, I'd have to be in England for hospital appointments and we couldn't be off here and there. So we need to be at a point where we're a bit more settled and then we'll start considering it. Yeah, yeah. and it's 100% in the plan. Yeah, of course. Definitely. Coda seems to be jolly happy baby. Has he ever had tantrums while you were filming and how do you handle it? He's never done it when we're filming actually. He actually loves the camera. He knows, he knows the vlog game, so he can not do <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny like since he was tiny yeah. and I guess like kids this generation growing up they're gonna know like what cell phones are selfies yeah. um, cameras but 
Every time the Cell camera comes phones. out. We're American. No, okay, phones, iPhones, what? Mobiles. What are they Mobile phones, mobile phones. He just seems to know what a camera is. I don't think that's what this question like is. This question is saying, okay. like, in life, does he have tantrums? But And, like, you don't put it on the, on the vlog. Yeah. Uh, obviously we don't obviously film we it. Obviously we don't film it, yeah. He, yes, he, he's, I don't think he has tantrums. He's, that's, I feel like that's more of like a toddler thing. Yeah. But he does like get upset and he cries because he's a baby. And he had and a virus lately, as yeah, you guys know. Yeah, he's been know. a bit poorly. Um, but, so like, ob but obviously we're only going to film him when he's happy and in a good mood. We're not just going to shove a camera in his face and be like, oh, he's yeah. crying. Um, and that's like a metaphor for like a lot of social media. So never yeah. think that yeah. like... Of course he's crying. Don't compare. If you're a parent, you think, Coda's always happy. Why, why is like... Obviously, stuff happens off camera. Yeah. Coda's favourite foods, toys, books, and TV shows. Are I all love the this questions question. about Coda. Yes. We'll get to some non Coda um, questions as so well. So, Coda's favourite food, I would say, is normally like some sort of tomato based pasta. I would say it's up there. He loves a salmon pie, very random. What do you know what he likes as well? What? Toast. Toast and Just butter. Just toast with butter. Bread and butter, like a duck. Loves it. Um, he is duck like. He is rather duck like, isn't he? In that regard, yeah. yeah. Um, I want some funny cuts and edits on this, by the way. Make yeah, yeah, oh no, I'll make it really cool. Um, his favourite... I'll keep it out. <laughs> I'm going to make this video so sick. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like, going to be the best Q&A like, ever uploaded to It's so boring and we're just being boring. And it needs we're not boring, Lisa. We've got half a million subscribers. Would we Would we have that many if we were boring? Well, I think we're boring, but... Um, his YouTube favorite, imposter syndrome, His favourite toys right now, I'd say Oki. Oki. Do you want to see Oki? I'll show you Oki. This is Oki, the sponsor of today's video. No, you can't no, say really. stuff like that because it, like, it's not the sponsor. It's not I feel like that's illegal to say that. Um, this is Oki. It's got some yeah. like rings and Koda absolutely loves Oki. He loves like, there's a few other things like that. He's got a dog he likes at the moment. Uh, he's got a turtle. He's starting to he's say dog cars. as well. He's going dog, he's dog, dog, dog. When he sees a dog. Um, his favourite book is currently Dear Zoo, I would say. It's his number one. Yes. Uh, his favourite TV show is... Baby Jake. Baby Jake. One million percent. Doggy, yeah, if you, if haven't, you know, you know. If you haven't seen Baby Jake, head on to YouTube well, after adventure. this video. You're not going to, are you, Baby Jake? You are. <laughs> if, you, if you know Baby Jake, that's really funny. If you don't, then it doesn't mean anything. Move on. How do you get the energy to do so much? I don't know, Martin, to be honest. Um, Your guess is as good as ours, Martin. Um, we haven't got much energy. We're running on empty, shall I say. The year 2023 is a year of burnout for us. Yeah, this is burnout year. Yeah. No, it's not burnout well, year. It's self-care <clears throat> year. It's but it's also We've got so much we want to do. Focus year. There's only a certain amount of hours in the day. I mean, how do we have so much energy? We've got quite a good diet. Yes, and we both work out a lot. We both work out a lot. We drink lots of water, we take vitamins. We've ditched alcohol since August. We yeah. haven't had an alcoholic drink since August. Apart from that sip of beer we had in Miller, but yeah, that's literally that's, we, a sip. we shared one no, we shared half a Samic light. Yeah. And then we thought we don't really we don't need it. Want to we go back to alcohol. It, it's weird, yeah. Yeah. Um I think they're the thing if you want an actual answer, that's the answer, but I don't think we've got loads of energy. I think I'm exhausted every day. Yeah. But it's the whole like new parent life. Coda doesn't sleep that well. And it's like what's the alternative? What yeah. are we gonna do? Sit around and complain. Yeah. That's well, not well, our style. <laughs> right, calm down. <laughs> He's only asking. <laughs> what else we do? No, I'm just, I'm just. I just get this thing at the at a new year. I know. I'm just so. I don't oh. know. Motivated. I saw Jack Whitehall did a really funny um skit. Is it called a skit? Yeah. A thing on his stand-up show, and he was like, "Why is everyone talking about dry January and veganuary and stuff?" It's like on <laughs> on the year. I'm not actually gonna say what he suggested because it's probably not appropriate for YouTube. But he is like, um, why is January when everyone does it? January is right. actually the worst month of the year. Right. P -p -p start something new in January. Yeah. He said start doing in January. I call it January or something. We have to bleep that bleep out because we're going to get like but, banned. Um, it, he was saying like, why is January, like January is literally the worst month of the year anyway. Why are we making it worse by restricting ourselves? It's weird also, and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> everyone starts like a new diet on yeah. January the 1st, but they've eaten like, crap the whole festive period sat around doing nothing probably probably um new year's eve gone out and drank alcohol and then like the first of jan you're expected to <laughs> okay we had this question a lot are you guys or when are you guys coming back to the philippines so a we were blown away by the support on the last kind of series the of trip. philippines yeah the little philippines trip that we yeah. did and the vlogs that we put out yeah it's crazy it was it went down so well and people love seeing us there again um after over a year. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely heading back out. We're heading out early 2023. That is this yes. year. I was gonna say next year, but it's not next year, yes. it's this year. Yeah, so watch this face. We're booking flights soon. We're book yeah, we are booking the flights very soon. Another travel question. How come less Brits 
are coming to the Philippines and they're more going to Thailand, Mal Mal Thailand, <laughs> and they're more going to Thailand, <laughs> Malaysia, <laughs> Indonesia, Vietnam. Why are you reading things like Indonesia? <laughs> As British people who found the Philippines, that's us. What, in your opinion, makes we most We didn't Brits... find the Philippines, just to clarify. <laughs> we are not the founders of the Philippines. No, we are just not. Just putting it out there. Um, what, what makes Brits go to these other countries and not to this? I think it's very traditional to do like, I'm going to Thailand for a gap year. I'm going to do some back... I'm getting to that. Okay. I think it's very traditional. I think it's like the thing. Maybe because... I don't know, I feel like Thailand... For example, I feel like there's so much more Thai restaurants in England than there are Filipino food restaurants, wouldn't 100%. you agree? And I feel like, oh, I'm going to go to Thailand for the food. And then one person goes, and then then their friend says they've gone. And I feel like it's just been this massive thing where it's like Thailand, Thailand, Thailand. Bali, I think, is becoming that as well. Everyone's going mm. to Bali now. So Indonesia. I don't know why people don't go to the Philippines. Like, it's a weird People thing. do go people, to the Philippines. Obviously, people go to the Philippines. But, like, percentage-wise, I do think more people go to Thailand think, than the Philippines. I think you hit something there with the backpack backpacking thing. Yeah. Because backpacking is a huge thing. The UK students, a lot of people, when they finish studying, yeah. they want to go backpacking for, we like, went backpacking, six months or a year. Of. We kind of started with backpacks. And you Google backpacking, like best backpacking location, and Thailand, Thailand comes it up just straight away. It's just like it's been advertised and for it is years as that. Easy to backpack. It's got this reputation as yeah. like a backpacking place. Yeah. I think that's a key thing for the UK. And let's be realistic here. The Philippines. When you look up the Philippines on the UK government website, it's like there's some areas that are like red list, don't go, mm, yeah. and that probably puts people off because they help. they see that and they put the name the Philippines with it and they go, oh, well, we can't go there without knowing like it's not it's yeah. not the whole country or like you can go here, you can go. Here. We th we oh, we wish like I mean we've kind of been. It's not our mission to do it, but. It's kind of become a thing. It's kind of become it? like everyone we talk to, we end up talking about the Philippines. If yeah. we meet new people and say, What do you do? Oh, we're vloggers, we kind of travel around, or we did do a lot of travel and now we have a baby. I said, Oh, where did you go? Well, we were in the Philippines, Philippines for a long time. Main, most and of it's it, not yeah. interesting. I've, so many people say, I've always, I've been thinking about going, I've always wanted never to been. go to the Philippines, but I've never been. Yeah. So we end up talking about the Philippines in our lives a lot. Yeah. Um, just naturally, off camera, it's on camera. It's weird though, it is right. Like people don't tend to pick that as the number one place but in my opinion mm. the beaches for example if someone wants a nice beach I'd, I've found so many nicer beaches in the Philippines than Thailand we were blown away like I mean because we, we a did lot Thailand of, first yeah a lot of you probably watched those early vlogs where we were like oh wow this is beautiful yeah and there's not many people here yeah so like we felt like we it ticks so many boxes yeah, we felt like we'd sort of Discovered something. If George, only, can we just close that? If we only did not for discover us, the Philippines. No, if only for ourselves. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. And for the UK population. I think it's been going to become more of a destination. I think it's getting Definitely. out there to be more. More people are going. People with bigger followings are going, which is like telling other yeah. people to go. And yeah. I think in the next ten years or so, oh, it's going to be Look like how many up there. Vloggers are out there now. Yeah. Telling the world about the Philippines. Yeah, awesome. it's amazing. Yeah, really cool. Um, but yeah, I think that is a bit why. I don't really know the real answer, but I think that could be some of the reasons. We're going deep into these answers today. Okay. We're actually thinking. And... Travel tips with a baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So we had oh, two... It's so hard. We had two polar opposite experiences. Both equally horrific. Yes, but for different reasons. But yeah. for Coda, one amazing flight with him and one not so good flight with him. Yeah. Um, the flight out, he was teething, It was circumstantial cold, so. because he was teething and he had a cold and it, he just didn't enjoy it the flight. Was really it was really bad. Not, in, not having a good time. It was just really bad timing, yeah. basically. The flight back, he had recovered from his cold. He, he had a great his time. His teeth were fine he and he slept. slept the cross, but, uh, he chilled, seats. he played, he yeah. watched videos. He but was good. George had food poisoning and was throwing up the entire flight. Yes. So, I mean, I would say tips would be toy loads of toys, loads of distractions, loads of screen time because it helps. Yeah. Um, get them to suck on something when they take off. So like it's a dummy or a bottle or whatever. Um, if you can, but don't force yourself because we tried and we got a bit stressed he out. Just, he, he was fine. He but didn't I think want to do it. It can hurt their ears. So just if you can try, try and time it around naps if you can, as in like fly in the night time so they'd be sleeping more walk around with them, take them, like show them bits of the plane, go to like the cabin steward bit, not the actual bit, but like sometimes they want to play with him. Like on the oh, flight yeah, back, they they, were so nice. I just gave Coda to them for a bit and they yeah, just played with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he loved the curtains as well. Just, and like, obviously explore a bit. it will change like different age. We've only got yeah. limited experience. My, actually, my number one tip is say to yourself, the time will pass if he's yeah. screaming. You will arrive. You will the get plane will land. at the destination in 10 hours, in five hours, whatever it is. 
just get through it. It's, it might be really hard, but just get through it. And the more you do, I feel like the easier it's going to get. That's what we say every um, time we get to the UK airport. It's only 26 hours to go. <laughs> That's it. Oh my god. And also, like, what's a nicer word than like screw everyone else? What's a nice way to say it? Like, um, don't worry about other other, what other people think because it you're never going to see them again and the you, flight's going to be over. You, before having a baby, were that person that when a baby came on, you went, oh God, a baby, this is going to be awful. And they were a baby once. They were a baby once. You become the parent and then you think, oh, I'm that one now. And it doesn't really matter. And no one actually cares that much. If someone is so wound up by it, you're never going to see them again after you get off this flight and let them be annoyed. Yeah. It's going to ruin their flight more than it's going to ruin yours. You need to just like look, I know it's hard because you think, oh no, I'm waking everyone up. But it is what it is. Like babies are on flights for a reason. If you don't like it, fly fly on a private jet. <coughs> That's my advice. That is, we can tell you're a parent. <laughs> it's like all your perceptions. It's like the New Year's Eve fireworks. Yeah. Coda woke up. I'm like, oh, stop doing your like, fireworks. Oh, fireworks are terrible. Should be banned. I know. <laughs> but then like last year we're there lighting them. Yeah. Um, that didn't happen. Okay, so. Any more or are we done? Um, I think we're good. I, I tried Everybody to, like, some. there were some repeat questions. Is that 10 or 19? 18 minutes, 19 minutes. There were some oh, kind I of repeat questions, those. so we tried to cover off enough of the themes. Anything particularly sticking out? There are a lot of similar questions, to be fair. Yeah. Like, I feel like people know anything. things. Which is good, because um, then hopefully we've answered stuff that people want to know. So thank you so much yeah. for watching. I'm going to close the laptop. We've got about a thousand emails, literally after that one. We were, we were filming for like 15 minutes and oh, then wow. the emails. So this back. is our life. I'm actually going to okay. keep this up because I'm pretty sure the laptop yeah, we've got is to do. lighting just, us just a little Just plug it bit. in because oh, we need to charge it. It's going to die. Right, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe yes. to you and we'll see you very soon in the next, I'll say Daily Juice. In the next vlog. Weekly we're going to have more, <laughs> loads of vlogs coming this year. I'm up. House updates soon, more travel, more fun stuff, Philippines trip incoming. See you later.